Hello, Blunt Truth, doing part two of the Gerber Profile. I'm wearing my official life testing shorts. I guess that's what they are now. Gerber Profile 420HC. First time I've done this steel, so let's learn something here about 420HC. Here's some paracord. <coughs> should get through this see not very good I can't get that scalpel edge on 420 steels you know I just can't I try and try and it just doesn't work they just round over the little fibers so you know can't quite get that paracord popping edge it'll shave I'm sure you know you can get it to shave see no problem shaving, but you can't get that paracord pop thing. Like I say all the time, paracord push cutting paracord is uh, the ultimate test. It's harder to do that than to shave. But that's as good as I can get it. So let's um, let's go from there. Let's see if we can keep it shaving. Doing a pretty good job slicing. Comfortable. Got that pinky problem. This little point. Pinky digging in. Really wish they brought that down a little. I guess if you got small hands it would be no problem. Pretty good slicing. Not a lot of effort needed. Doing good. Really good slicing, actually. Taking that finish right off. You see that cheapo painted on finish. Totally wiped it off with just that little bit of cardboard. I think it would look better without that shit anyway. <clears throat> Coming right off. Did real good slicing. Really good. See this little twenty dollar knife it really impressed me. You know, I didn't expect much when I bought it. Yeah, you know, I, I ain't gonna get this. Might as well give up on the paracord. You, you can't do that. 420 can't get sharp enough for paracord. I guess I'm gonna have to shave my damn arms. Oh, maybe not because he ain't really shaving anymore. <sighs> A little tiny bit. It's more scraping my skin. It doesn't really. Doesn't really shave anymore. <sighs> so you know, 420. We already lost quite a bit of edge. 
some edge anyway. Has to be expected, you know. Let's do some wood. Same wood I just used with the uh just cut there because my battery died. <clears throat> so I was just starting on the wood. So let's do the wood here. Can't get a good grip pull cutting. It cut out, I guess. Kind of like the problem I had with the native spider co native is that big cut up. Makes it so you can't get that. It's the opposite of the way you want to grip it. So. The handle doesn't work well for pull cuts. Oh well. Can't have it all for 20 bucks. That's pretty good on the wood. Got some on you. pretty good. Good knife. No chipping or anything. Well, you know what? There is a there is a tiny tiny little flat spot. A couple actually. A couple little flat spots. One here, one there. Not a big deal. You know. So I did it flattened out a little, no chipping, but there's a little flattage, a couple little flat spots from the wood. 420 for you, you know, it's not, not a super performer. You're going to get some flat spots. You're going to get some dulling real quick. No way in hell this is going to shave now. See, even pushing hard. I mean, just scraping off a couple hairs. I mean, it ain't shaving. I mean, this is that's dull. Dull knife won't cut. Paper. Yeah. Dull. You know, so that's what 420 gives you. It goes dull fast. It's uh, it's not great steel. You get what you pay for as far as the steel quality. It, it dulls real quick. I push my thumb right into that. No worry about cutting myself because it's dull as hell. 420. But I do like the design of the knife. Great beater knife. You know. So 20 bucks, I give it a good thumbs up for value. Good beater knife. That's the uh, Gerber profile. Review over. Thank you.